Hi there. To be honest, looking around, there wasn't much that really got me excited this week as far as game sales to talk over. I will go over a few Capcom games towards the end I found on Humble, a few games I found on GOG, but a commenter of mine says I should check out a website called Fanatical, so I did some research on them and they seem to be a legit key seller. You have to be careful with key sellers. Some of them are legit, others will scam you, or they don't care who puts up a key for sale or where they got it from. And while the site itself isn't necessarily illegitimate, the people selling the keys most certainly are. And yeah, they have a high Trustpilot score. And I trust Trustpilot only so far as I can throw them, as that site is so easily manipulated by scammers. With that said, it looks like they are a legit site owned by Fandom, a site that does a bunch of wikis, and it gets together with large and indie sellers to sell keys, just like Humble does. And it's been around for about 10 years or so. Looking at it though, there are a few things I have to say to be wary of, and a few things I have to say I do really like the site. So what are the things that I found to be wary of? is that, well, they try to upsell you on quote-unquote mystery games. You don't know the key until after you purchase it. And I purchased a pack with four games for $3 because there was an upsell after buying one of their bundles. And most of the games were games I wouldn't be interested in playing. Um, the only good game was Mummy Demastered. The only problem was the bundle I purchased, I had Mummy Demastered in, so I got two of the same keys. The other thing I want to warn you about is make sure you do their due diligence on their sales. Not all their sales are deals. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, right now they have Tales of Berseria on sale for $40. What's wrong with that? That's still $10 off. Anyone who has watched my channel regularly for the last year knows that it goes on sale on a regular basis for $5 to $10 on Steam itself. That's not really a good deal. Wait a few weeks, it'll be on sale for $5 on Steam itself, rather than using Fanatical's key seller. So, what do they have that I do love and will be checking out every week when I do my research? They seem to do a lot of bundles, even more than Humble. But while Humble will have you choose a price and you'll get the games listed at that price in their bundle, which they're not bad deals, but if you really want the best deal on the bundle, you're going to have to pay the full amount. Again, usually you're not being ripped off at all, but it can mean getting duplicate games or games you don't want in order to get the one you do. With Fanatical, you pick the games you want from a list. If you pick two or three, you'll get one sale price, pick more, and the price will go up to a better deal, etc. So you get to choose what you want from the list rather than picking a price and then getting what you get. I do like that, and here's a few bundles I found that I do recommend. The first one is called Build Your Own Trinity, where you can pick up to three games for $4.99 out of a list of 16 games. The games I do recommend while they're available, and one of them is showing a low stock as of this recording, so it might be gone, is Shantae Half Genie Hero and Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, and although I don't recommend them because I haven't played it before, but I choose, did choose this game when I got the bundle, is The Mummy Demastered. That one was also made by Way Forward, which outside of a um, DLC for Shantae, Half Genie Hero, Friends to the End, has never disappointed me, and even that DLC wasn't terrible, it just wasn't balanced properly. The other one lasts until Tuesday, and while you get two for $14.99, one of those in this collection is River City Girls 2, which is usually on sale on Steam for that price. Regrettably, I haven't played any of the other games offered in the bundle, but if you have to pick two, I would probably go with um, either Shantae and the Seven Sirens or Ruby, as they were both made by Way Forward as well. All right, now that I got that rant out of the way, uh, here's a few other games I do recommend. From Humble, we do have Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge for $16.74. 
This one is available until Tuesday, and again, I do love the Neo Retro aspect of this game. The developers just nailed it when it came to being a good send-up, not only to the Konami brawlers, but to the classic cartoon by bringing the original actors to the Turtles and just having a bunch of Easter eggs, like um, you'll run into April O'Neil's co-workers, for example, as you fight through the stage, things like that. It really does rank up there in Turtles in Time when it comes to the best Turtles game out there. Then we have Devil May Cry Collection for $9.98. This series originally started as a Resident Evil 4, but Capcom gave the developers too much leeway and they created a game that wasn't Resident Evil at all. The only problem is that they made a game that was so fun that Capcom just had to go back and have them redo the story so it didn't fit into the Resident Evil universe and that became Devil May Cry. Basically, you join Dante, a smart-mouth demon hunter, on his misadventures. Again, I've only played 1 and 3 in this, and I haven't touched 2 yet, but from everyone I talk to, I don't know if I want to touch 2. And then, finally, we got Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition. This one's fun for about $4.99. Again, the Arkham City series seems to be all on sale and I do enjoy probably Arkham City as the best one. Um, basically you're Bruce Wayne, you're trapped inside this uh, huge prison slash mental institute that's taken over much of the city and as Batman you're going to go around, beat up thugs, and try to solve all the problems that are going on inside um, Arkham City, including the Joker's latest evil deeds. It's a great game, well worth getting. All right, guys, this is all I have for today. Uh, please let me know if you have any suggestions. All right, see you later. Bye.